Hello everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Ridwan Ibrahim. In this video, I will be making a review on the design condition of a simply supported beam and the result of the design will be compared to that of a fixed beam. The aim of this video is to establish which of the two beams is more economical and then which of the two type of beam is more stable. And then we'll be carrying out this review using a very popular software which is Prudal Structure. So um, let's just get into it. Um, this image, from this image you can see this first one is a simply supported beam. And then what can you see from a simply supported beam is that here you can see that the support type you have here is simply an hinge support. And the support type you have here is also a hinge support. And what you have here is a fixed beam. The, um, the support you have at the left is a fixed support. And what you have at the right is a fixed support. Now, because of this difference in the support type, there will be a difference in the analysis result. There will be a difference in the design result. But any of the two type of the beam can be selected by the structural engineer. The structural engineer only needs to ascertain that any of the two type of beam that is selected just need to pass all the possible conditions that is necessary for the beam to pass. So let's just get into it as soon as possible. I'm going to create um, a new drawing. So I'll create a new project and then I will call it, um, let's just say, beam review. Okay. And then I can choose a code template. Let me use BS8110 and then click on OK. Now we are here. I can go to uh, modeling. Then I'll just pick um, a grid. Now I can draw a grid. Um, you might hold your control so that I can have it straight. Then I'll drop it like this. Um, I can escape. So this I will just offset it. Um, offset. I can offset to the right. F2, 5000. Enter. Okay. I will escape that. Then I can create another grid. So let me just put it somewhere around here. And then you hold your control. Then I can drop it here. Okay, so that is fine. I will close that. Uh, I can rename this to something like one. Let me rename this to one. Update and then close. Okay, so this can be alphabet while this is a um, figure. Of course, we will be having two models one for the simply supported um, beam condition and the other for the fixed supported beam condition. So let's just make the model one by one i will start by modeling the fixed beam condition and then after that we can now go forward with the simply supported so i will start with the fixed okay so now i will start by modeling the columns which is the support so i'll click on the rc column let's use um, a section of 230 by 230 okay so i'll drop it at these two ends just drag it over like this and then i can go back to modeling and then i'll pick beam so let's use a beam section of 230 by 450. Okay, then I'll just take it from here up to this point, and then I can escape that. Okay, so uh, that's doing fine. This um, grid line is too long, so let me just um, make changes. So click on stretch axis to a boundary. So oh no, click on stretch axis to member insertion. So um, apply to all axis. Okay. Now you can see it has been reduced, so it's not um, looking bad now. Um, let's see the 3D. All right, so this is how it looks like in 3D. Now that the beam and the column connection has been established, I can go on with the loading. So uh, I click on this beam, and then I can right click. Then you can go to Edit Wall Load. In editing the wall load, the unit load. Uh, let me just use um, 15. Yeah, okay, so let the height be 2, okay, no, 2, okay, and then the thickness of the wall, let it be um, 0 0.3, then you click on OK, now we can see the load is um, applied. So now um, we can go ahead with the analysis and then the design. So I go to analysis and then 
building analysis. The first thing is to establish the load combustion and the load cases. So I will load a generator and just click on OK. So everything will be there. I don't need to create a special load case. So click on OK. And then let's edit the material. For the column, we are not so concerned about the column. So I'll just go to the concrete beam. Um, a grid 410 is not bad. And then C20 slash C25 for the concrete is not bad. Then the rebar diameter, I will just select 3, which is Y16, Y20, and then Y25. Okay. Then click on OK. Then OK. All right. And then I can move to analysis. All right. I do not wish to display the analytical method after the design. So um, go to beauty analysis. Then I want to design the beam. You can click on this and then click on beauty analysis. Now the analysis is, com is completed and then you can see that the story drift is satisfied for both direction. So click on OK and then you can close this. Now let me go to post analysis and then I can check out my beam reinforcement detail. Um, you can see the utilization ratio. The utilization ratio is 0 0.95. That is um, below 1. And then uh, let's just check the, the kind of reinforcement we have in. So I click on this. This is a fixed supported beam. So you can see the reinforcement I have at the bottom of the beam is 2Y25. And what I have at the top is 2Y16. But to make it easy, I want to have the same kind of diameter. So I will change this Y25 to um, Y16. So uh, let's reduce this to Y16. Okay, you can see it is not passing. So I have to increase the number from 2. Let's increase it to 3. No, 3 is still failing. So let's take it to 4. And let's take it to 5. Okay. I'll just use this. So it means at the bottom, I need something like 5Y16. And at the top, I need 2Y16. So we can say that for this beam, the total number of reinforcement I will be needing is 7Y16. That is 5 at the bottom, 2 at the top. So this is 7Y16. Okay, so um, that is fine. So this is the result of the number of reinforcements we have for the fixed supported beam. The number of the reinforcements we have in total is what we will be using to establish the economical property, if it is economical or not. Okay, let's also check the, um, the parameters that we will use to establish the stability. So click on OK and then I can close this. Now, I can select this beam and check the deflection and also the crack of the beam, okay? So, that is what we'll be using to establish the stability. So, I'll check the deflection and crack check. And I'll be doing that for a period of over five years. That is five years and beyond. So, the loading time, I'll be taking five years and beyond, just as I said. And then, uh, member do not carry sensitive load. That is what I'll be using. It is not carrying any sensitive load and then let it check deflection anyway and then apply the selected beam so just click on ok and then let's wait for the report okay this is fine um we can check the deflection you can see the total deflection we have is 13.779 millimeters which is less than what is the limit which is 19.87 so this is adequate okay so it means that after five years and beyond, the deflection is not going to exceed 13.779 after five years and beyond for the total deflection. And the crack width is going to be about 0.17 for a period of five years and beyond. However, you know that both the deflection and crack width, they are limit state of serviceability that is they affect more of the appearance than they affect the stability that means we have to consider another property that will be used to establish the stability of the beam and that will be the shear capacity and the shear demand of the of the beam so um let's check that so how are we going to um check that um let's just um close this and then you can go back to your design and then you go to story beams now i will check the beam capacity report just click on ok
now you can go ahead and um, check more of the results but i will focus more on the shear okay so vd that represents the demand shear force white vr represents the shear force resistance that is the capacity of the shear force that can resist what is demanded okay so if you check your vd the uh, the value is 11.4 why the resistance is 57.2 okay so when you divide 11.4 by 57.2 you are going to arrive at 0 0.20 so this is the value that is essential which is 0 0.20 we are going to use this value as well to make the comparison now we are done with this first type of beam which is the fixed supported beam in the next video we are going to do the same review on a simply supported beam and then in that video we are going to make our conclusion about the economy and the stability so um watch out for the video and if you like this video make sure you give it a like and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel kindly give my channel a subscription thanks for watching